Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 4 of my Christmas Village 2021 food tutorial series. 24 hours after shooting part 3 outro, here I am with part 4 intro. It took so long because the blue paint here wasn't the only thing I need to let dry. There was also behind it two or three layers of uh, toilet paper socket with uh, the mix of uh, um, PVC glue, white glue and water. So it took 24 hours to completely dry. And unfortunately all along this season I will use many other times the same techniques. So I will spend eons, an eternity, ages waiting for everything to dry before continuing my work. And this is the case for this uh, week. Generally I don't like shooting intro in plain night, but generally it is the opposite. I shoot intro during the day and outro during the night when my uh, work is completed for that part. Now I need to start using the silicone sealant on top of the water, the simulated water. So it will take some more ages to dry because silicone sealant uh, tend to uh, dry to cure in one hour, one hour and a half if used properly to seal, I don't know, a shower or a faucet or I don't know, whatever you use it to do. But if I apply multiple layers, one on top of the other, I need to wait uh, for the first layer to cure or mm, going ahead with every layer and wait for some more time, a time multiplied by 10 to get everything dry. So, all along this week I will work when I can, not when I can myself, but when uh, each layer of sealant will allow me to proceed. It's a slow process, but like that, I don't like it. I need some glowish effect. Now it is too much, okay? So I will need to start with that. Then, obviously, as promised many times, I will need to start the second level of the ancient park but uh, I'm still at the beginning of everything and I'm already in late so let me just go with the sealant and maybe you will have multiple updates during the week it is sure and sometimes I risk to be uh, very sleepy Bye. Hi guys, so here I am once again with my water, my harvest section, my wharf section as you want. Um, all is dried, as you can see, everything is hard and dry, uh, the toilet paper, the paint, etc. What I will be using? I will be using a plastic container, then I will be using my uh, corking my silicone sealant then I will use a spoon also a spoon I will show you how to use it how I use it then I will use also some uh, spatulas <laughs> they are nothing else than two popsicle two wood popsicle then I will use some uh, colors for acrylic these are those are used. Those are acrylic colors, but they are used uh, for epoxy resins uh, to uh, color epoxy resin. But they can be also used uh, for adding some tone of color to the uh, silicon sealant. And I will use some blue and some green, of course, just a small amount in order to uh, maintain the silicon as crystal clear as possible. Then 
I need sometimes some thinner. The problem here, uh, silicon uh, sealant thinner, especially the ones based on uh, acetic acid, need a thinner that is very toxic. Okay? Uh, very very toxic so instead i'm using some uh, isopropylic alcohol or isopropanol uh, not too much because if i add too much uh, isopropanol to the um, silicon sealant it will shrink and also it will break the uh, net <laughs> network that will maintain the molecules together and, and that's what is needed uh, to the sealant, to the silicon sealant to cure, to dry. So in some rare cases I will use also some uh, isopropanol. I will not use water because <laughs> water isn't good for the clarity, for maintaining crystal clear the silicon okay so uh, let's start i will pour some silicon in here okay not too much i will proceed step by step i will need to use it um, many times i need to remove if i have some hard silicon inside because i risk to have a cap. So I don't have anything like that. I will add a couple of drops of blue here. Okay. Just two drops. One, two, let's say three. Okay. Three drops of blue acrylic color then I will mix everything I want some bluish color to be added to the silicon so and also continuing maintaining the crystal clear effect so very small amount of blue in this case that started releasing some acetic acid so it smells so bad right now Okay, then I will proceed sector by sector, not too much, because I don't need it to start curing while I'm applying the silicon itself, so I will start sector by sector. Now, here I will use the spoon like that, okay?
still will need to do some uh, adjustments here and there when everything is in place, the boats, the buildings here. So, <clears throat> sorry I'm a little intoxicated right now. Too much acetic acid is, uh, is releasing from the um, uh, sealant here, from the silicon. So, uh, some waves. I've decided at the last minute to add the two rocks, one here and one there with some splashing effects, with some water splashing over them. Not too big, because I didn't want to, uh, to hide anything behind the uh, rocks, because you will need to see from this side. So it's just some effect here. I have some waves caused by the boat um, sailing ahead. I've got some waves here, higher, then lower, then this will be the beach, uh, sand beach or maybe just uh, Peebles beach, I don't know yet. And then here the, the harbor here, I will need actually to carve into the, um, into the sealant uh, once I decided that the, dim the correct dimension I want for the harbor. Anyway, this is done right now. Uh, not too bad, not perfect as always, but here and there I have some difference. Here I added some more green sealant, then the rest is blue because the, well, <coughs> you have some algae down there uh, and so on. It is too much in there, I will need to cut now. I just need, okay, <coughs> it has started the curing so it doesn't stick anymore to the fingers, especially here, I think, yes, this is almost hard, okay? And I will also need to paint some white water because when here, especially here, when I got some splashes, the top, top here of every wave need to be uh, um, white, sorry, maybe dry brushes, maybe, uh, normal uh, white coloring so I didn't I don't want it uh, uh, to calm uh, water because we are in winter <laughs> and we are in the northern hemisphere uh, it is supposed to be around the Christmas and the water the ocean I'll call it whatever you want that can't be too calm it is almost every time, all time agitated, and this is why I have no mm, <clears throat> big, not not a big amount of calm waves. Yeah, the water needs to be agitated in some way. So here I have a rounded, and then another is coming right there. Then here another. Then the splashing water going this side and this side, nothing there, because water. Uh, find an obstacle here and then splash from right and left here the same thing and when the water arrives there it splashes there then it tends to go backward that's why uh, that, the, the curl here and also both curves here going backwards <clears throat> it is just a matter of uh, forces uh, force and reactions I'm not here for uh, physics lessons anyway and let's see when everything is dried, when everything is cured. Uh, not too gloss, it is intentional because I don't want the, the water to be too gloss. The blue is still visible, the green is still visible, but you also have some parts that are glossy and reflecting lights. Okay, this is a good example of what I wanted. Here, buildings, all, all along this line here, I will have buildings. I hope you, you are seeing that, yes. And so some waves, some waves here um, getting uh, <coughs> towards the buildings, so some more uh, <coughs> waves here. Maybe I will need to add more, more uh, of them in hate especially, but right now I don't have the feeling that it is needed. Uh, so, um, that's all guys, I needed to put this outside 
because I'm really intoxicated, I needed to drink at least uh, five gallons of water, uh, 10 liters, 12 liters, I don't know. And um, so thank you guys. See you for the next part of this part four. Bye. Well guys, another 24 hours have passed and here I am with a little update. I still need to do some work, especially on the two boats here. But uh, the sealant is uh, hardened. It, it, it has cured. So no more problem of sticky on or everything else. I still need to do some work here. So let me go first with the chalutier, with the uh, fishing boat, the sailing boat. Name it as you want. I will use some food film wrap here. Okay. I don't want to damage the boat itself. Okay. Okay guys, now I let's say I'm satisfied with I, what I've done here, okay? And then I will need to wait for some minutes. Then I will go with the, uh, with the painting. I still need to paint uh, some uh, here and there, okay? And uh, so I will go in just a few seconds. I've simply added some splashing water here all around the border of where the boats will be because I was missing some water, some movement. This is supposed to be all in movement everywhere, movement in everywhere. So the splashing there, the curse, everywhere must be dynamic. And here yeah, I was missing some color and some uh, water splashing against the uh, boats. So I think I will go now with this. Need to wait uh, half an hour, but uh, I will start painting some of the waves. See you in just a few seconds with the painting. While I'm waiting for the sealant to cure a little bit, I'm refining some of my curves here because I don't want them too pointy, okay? Some of them, just some, two or three of them are too pointy, okay? And I don't want them so pointy. Uh, it was just a matter of some of them, not too much, okay? Well, good. Now, the rocks are too dry. I will need to use some uh, some gloss. I've already used it. Um, I've already used it when I painted my uh, Greek statues. So it's simply a finish, a gloss finish. 
and I will simply go and use some of it on top of the rocks to get them more gloss, more shiny, more wet. Okay, and then I will go first here. I'm done with this little layer of glossy. Uh, I just need the, the wet effect on the rocks. Okay, I see water effect. Now I'm going with the painting. Just need to clean a little bit my one of this brush because the glass is very stick and I risk to ruin my brush. Be right back. Maybe you have noticed that using this technique means that I have multiple layers of sealant of silicone one on top of the other. So some of the curls are already a little white but white water is what is very very important to add not everywhere just some here and there in order to have this effect of, of movement even more accentuated okay so i will uh, go with some titanium white and it is an acrylic color and i will go with this titanium white Come on, man. 
uh, I am done with this first uh, part because I need everything to dry out the painting using a silicone is yes a pain in the ass to paint but it is paintable okay I don't want too white this is not ice this is uh, white water so not perfectly white not totally white uh, some blue some white here and there here the ma maximum splashing around the um, the rocks so yes uh, some more white there and along the coast here some more white uh, i think this is a, a good representation of uh, uh, water in movement from everywhere so i will go do the rest of this part four uh, and i will have uh, an update with you uh, once everything has dried as i was uh, just saying it is time to do some more stuff for this part four of the 2021 new series the arbor section the wharf section is somewhere else still drying and curing down uh, and also I need to wait for the white paint to dry and it will take so much time because painting on top of uh, a CD concealant it is uh, possible, yes, but it is also <laughs> a very hard task okay, and now I will do some more work on the fountain here I need to carve the, uh, the hole in order to place the fountain then I will go with the pump and the uh, pedestal for the um, statue for Neptune or Poseidon statue. Uh, so uh, let's go, let's start with some real work here. I just need to mark everything there. Okay, I just need to mark okay where everything will be i just need to measure here the middle the plain middle there it is 18 the plain middle is at 9 so here is the middle there and also the middle here let's say it is 7.7.5 um, 3.5, 3.5, 7, 3.75 3.75 I need a pen, okay? I need a white one because packing black with black it's not the ideal so let's go with uh, 3.75 Okay, so there's the middle, I hope you can see it, yes, this is 3.75, 3.75, let's say there's the middle, I need to is good enough let me remove the stair let me remove the pin this one too for the moment so I will go there and the border here border here okay it is the border so if I'm going like this I think 
it could be perfect with the right amount of everything coming up. So let me continue here. Sorry, you aren't seeing anything. I was saying, let me continue here. Then there, then here, then here. There's the middle and also the middle in here will be there. Now getting it okay and when I will place the fountain down it will be there like that with the pump very well either behind okay so now I will go with the marking Okay, so I need to refile here i need to cut a piece here because i want it to go down okay so i will cut it right now i just need to remove the right side that i add glue together some times ago this one too is glued together the left side, but not the right side. And now I will simply cut here, avoiding this part here, okay? I simply need to cut it right there and I will use my cutting table, nothing difficult, very, very easy. So let's go, see you in just some seconds. Okay, so is, here is the result guys, okay? I cut it inside, I let this side and this side a little more. It's not perfectly uh, symmetric, but hey, the purpose is to have from each side Okay, 
this way and then this other way there and behind there will be the pump right there behind here and uh, then I will cover it uh, in some way okay uh, maybe I will get uh, another uh, wall inside in order to mask the uh, pump let's uh, try if uh, the pump will fit inside here is the, the pump it is the monster pump i used uh, last year inside the lake and the lake was right there i think here in the middle on the right but let's see if the pump will fit inside and will hide somehow let's say i will go I will go this way, okay? I will go this way from, I don't know if you can see, okay? This is the output, this is the input. I will get the pump at a very low frequency, at a very low voltage, so it won't make some extreme noise. Once it is inside, let's see if I, we can hide the pump. Okay. I still need uh, to find a way to get uh, the water under the Poseidon uh, statue. Let me check. Yes, I, have, I think I will have enough space. Okay, I will need some sort of wall there. And right now I don't know how to do it, but uh, I will find a solution. Surely I will find a solution. I need to mask. I will find a solution. Yes, I will. So uh, let's add something more to the pump. I will need a tube in order to get the water from the pump to the statue. So I took some tube crystal clear um, benedict tube, a hose clamp, and a screwdriver. Let's get this correctly. I think I will need some more space here. I'm working while I'm thinking with you guys, so I don't know, I don't want to ruin anything. Okay, I simply need to go and and make some more space okay in the middle i will cut here some more space this will be hidden anyway okay okay this way let's check if it can fit now or if i need to go even further I will do another centimeter. I've cut even more. Now let's see. Oh. 
okay it could fit right now now other problem i need a pedestal a platform for my jupiter what i mean i mean that i will need jupiter will be right there on top of something and the water will go down in some way <laughs> i will come to that in just some minutes i need uh, here something to hide the hole and to get the water okay then jupiter will be like this okay so i will uh, need to think about the good way to do it, a good way of doing it. Uh, maybe I will go with the rectangle down there in order to hide here. Uh, okay, yes, I can do it. Uh, be right back, guys. Just one minute. And ladies and gentlemen, here is Neptune. Poseidon, god of the sea, god of the water. I hope you can see it. Okay, I brought it with me. It was uh, doing nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, because I need to show you what I want to achieve. First, I don't know if you can see, but here I have a slight difference in a 2 to 3 millimeters in difference in 8. They are not perfectly aligned. So... I cut these two pieces of uh, uh, very, very thin uh, styrofoam, and here we go, okay? And I will place them here and there, so that everything is aligned. Three millimeters there, three millimeters previously here, aligned perfectly in line with the top now and also with the stairs obviously okay now the pump will be there inside the pump will be there okay i've just shown you poseidon will be there almost there so i need two things hide the pump some way and I've cut this piece of styrofoam here it is the same styrofoam I've used to make the end railings there so I will hide the pump like that okay here I will go with a certain pattern I will design it then I will need a base for Poseidon and I've cut also this piece of styrofoam it is not uh, extruded it is expanded so i will have some difficulties uh, carving into it but i will find another solution i will need to have it there with poseidon on top of it there okay with the base almost as if the base was floating on the surface of the water then I will need to have some sort of uh, uh, way of getting the water into the fountain itself. So I thought maybe I will use this base here. I will cut it in half. Okay. I will make a hole for the tube, for the PVC tube there. Here. I will make a hole for the PVC tube in there. Then I will seal everything with polyresin glue. Okay? Or epoxy glue, if you prefer. Once it is sealed, I will have water coming from here, there, and there. How? Just a second. Here I have two PVC profiles, okay? I don't know if you can see that this is a profile, U-shaped profile. This one, uh, one is smaller, one is bigger. 
I don't know now the correct size I want, but the, those will be inclined like that, so we won't see anything like that, and with a small part coming here, another part coming there, and another one coming here, with the water getting into the fountain, okay, here, there, it will be more clear, I don't know sincerely what is more suitable, this one, or maybe the little one there, I love the choice between big one and little one, okay, I don't know yet, maybe the small one is suited, is more suited, I don't know, I will think about it. So I will need to do this work and then I will try. Obviously I will need to cut the length of the PVC crystal tube because it is too long right now. Okay, now let me just bring this here. It is uh, up, right, okay, you are up right in order to let me go there um, I will need right now to cut it in half I think so guys here I made the cut you can see that I cut in the middle then it is open quite smooth cut okay and then I will carve here, this measure here, this depth here, and this one here, almost the same, I think, yes, in order to have the tube inserted in here, then I will use some polyresin, etc., to seal it correctly, and then I will uh, have to decide how to use how to let the water flow towards everyone. I decided to go with the little one, it is more suited, and I think I will have some of it protruding right there. Oops, sorry. I will go with... Yes. I will cut pieces of two centimeters, one inside and one outside. Maybe it is exaggerated. No, let's go, let's say two centimeters, three pieces of two centimeters, okay? Like we're running in circles Going around every day Getting stuck in the hurdles Of yesterday Don't you want to go further Away from the fray Let's not get stuck in our worries We'll make our way Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside This 
Final result, almost final result for the uh, fountain pumping system there. Uh, I had to wait uh, many hours, let's say 10 hours, in order to the epoxy to get uh, perfectly dry. Now it is hard from everywhere, okay? Uh, it has been a long job. Uh, it's always the case with some epoxy like this where uh, when you spill it from a tube you don't always get the exact same amount of component A and component B so sometimes you get more time to, uh, to cure to get very hard uh, I should have used uh, component A and component B from separate containers and then mixed them together in order to have the exact same amount of component A and component B anyway now it's done uh, i still don't know if it works but uh, let's get risky there let's suppose that it works <laughs> cross fingers guys um now what i need to do i need to place it where it needs to be placed let's say oh yes guys i've also uh, had a small uh, all there in order to uh, have uh, mm, the fountain container not bumping into the uh, background into the back uh, of the uh, hole there otherwise it will have bend like this so i had i had uh, a small rectangular hole there now i was saying i will need to go this way okay and glue it there but it is also subjected to the enormous and enormous force enormous for the styrofoam panel because uh, the pump with the tube will apply a force each time i bend it okay so i need to glue it very very carefully together together <coughs> those two pieces and with multiple layers of glue. I will go with my standard PVC glue, uh, even if it will take some more time, because I re rely most uh, on it. I rely everything on it. Uh, I'm using the two uh, glue um, styrofoam together with this kind of glue, with PVC glue, and it is uh, a good compromise for me. So I will need a uh, very long <clears throat> curing time uh, what I will need uh, not especially the pump there because otherwise I will force everything while it is curing so I will <clears throat> disassemble the pump there okay I will simply take the final part <clears throat> in order not to have forces of any kind and I will apply it there respecting the middle and everything else like this 
due to the fact that I've used some uh, epoxy glue, some big component epoxy glue, I have some thickness here. Uh, I have some thickness, so it won't get perfectly against the wall there, okay? I will have some space. But anyway, I will try to fill the spaces and I will try to get the spaces behind and not upside. And then I will need a long work, a long task in order to paint everything uh, in some days, some days maybe, November, December, January, February, no, no, February, the uh, village will be dismantled, sorry. And then I will use some big, <coughs> Some big retainer there. I will use uh, some this one simply because the small one hasn't the uh, correct uh, eight. You can see that it is almost unfitted for getting them together. Uh, so I will <coughs> use the big ones, the clamps. Uh, I don't have a middle one, so or biggest the giant one or the smallest one. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so I will go with this task. Then I will do something more because it will take hours to uh, to uh, cure. everything in a safe place finally so now let me get rid of the glue uh, no maybe not let me just uh, put the um, the brush inside some water then I will attack the second level a hey, Poseidon is still here Let's have him somewhere else. Okay, Poseidon is still here. The nun too. Let's be <coughs> crazy. Let's put the nun and Poseidon one beside the other. It's not precisely her god. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't want to be blasphemed. Um, I, and I don't want to offend anybody. Okay? So, <laughs> simply joke. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, the second level here on top of there, and uh, I will try to uh, start it. Uh, it will not pos be possible to finish, but I have some more hours to spend before closing this part four. So let's go. I'm back with uh, some water and guys, uh, uh, Sometimes I also use uh, green uh, glasses, paper green glasses, but hey, they don't resist too much. So I'm, <laughs> I'm forced to use plastic uh, glasses, but uh, I can also be green in my life. So let's uh, um, move something more. Let's move the camera here. Let me just find a good compromise. I think I went there. So oh, second level here and the middle is right here. I simply need to go up and there. Okay. The middle is here and not there. I will use uh, the square here and I will go right there. Just to remember me that I need to use the red line as middle. What I brought with me.
this piece of uh, this panel here okay this panel here uh, the pins just remove the pins and this panel is 37 centimeters by 66 centimeters I will place uh, right now the conversion somewhere there uh, 37 by 66 let me mark the middle here I need the middle of this one Thirty-three. There, thirty-three centimeters. Okay. Thirty-three centimeters are there. Now, my square. Okay. Let me remove the stair here. Third level. Now, the middle here, somewhere like that. Now, let me measure some distance here. centimeters perfect this is another level okay I need a way to climb it so I made something else I will go with my standard 9 millimeter stick st um, extruded styrofoam uh, 66 centimeter in length one step there and it is 66 by 6 centimeters this one is 66 by 4 here 4 centimeters then the last one will be 66 by 2 centimeters and I've used the same, I've used the same uh, calculation and the same way to do the stairs. So two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters, uh, each nine millimeters of uh, air thickness. Um, almost the same height there. Uh, let me try something. I have with me the, the very thin one. Let me check if I can go this way or if it is too much. Okay, not precisely the same level here. So I will remove the ones beneath it. I think this is not precisely three centimeters. No, it's 2.85 centimeters. So I will go this way. I can either go this way. I still have some um, some different level there. I will need to find a solution right now because this panel is not a 3 cm thick. Otherwise, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9 multiplied by 3 equals 2.7 cm. I will be have left with 3 mm and this one is 3 mm. But it's way under 3 cm, the big panel here. Look what I had on hand. I have some thick paper okay I have some thick paper uh, 
let's see how many I will need to fill the gap. First one, still some gap. Second one, still some gap. The third one, let's check. I went over, so it's not good. Okay, good. Three of them will align the levels. So I will cut, let's see. I will need some of them. I will need some collage to do. So six centimeters, three times each. Okay? You start me up like no one's ever could. You feel my fire. multiplied by 4 equals 3.6 centimeters. This time I went a little more uh, smarter and I had uh, this panel here, this uh, expanded styrofoam panel that was 4 centimeters in thick. It has an 8 of 4 centimeters, so I cut it to 3.6 centimeters. Uh, this way, okay, with my cutting uh, table, and now if I place them together, okay, they are in line, okay. So I need to glue all that together. Feel my fire. instrument uh, from the old times where geometry was so important but hey uh, I can't use it because I will not achieve 32 centimeters this is a standard compass and maximum I will get 24 centimeters so I will need uh, some more instrument and a handmade instrument to have 
a radius of 32 centimeters. Let's see what I can provide. <coughs> a piece of uh, extruded styrofoam there. Let me measure it. It is something more than 32. Yes, okay. Let me add it. Okay, I need my ruler. Let me have one centimeter. Then this is six centimeters. Let's go with three centimeters. This is plain middle. Then from this line, let's measure 32 centimeters. So in reality, it is 33 centimeters. Once again, there. In the middle, right there, three centimeters here. Now, let me have a hole in here. I'm doing the hole. Okay, I'll throw them in the middle. Let's check. Yes, it can be done. Now, the tricky part. The tricky part is... to get in the middle, so... 3 centimeters. Okay, now I will need a long pin. Okay, I've got a pin there, some sort of a pin, and let's check if it works. No, I need to go deeper. I'm dumb sometimes, guy. Look what I have here. I should have thought before about it. Let me go. No, guys, it's not correct. 32. I thought I could have 32, but it's not good. So. Let me go with 30 instead. Okay, so 2 centimeters. There. And I've not this, and this is proof that I've not prepared anything, okay? I'm going pack. This is not correct. My 
1 cm, 1 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, this is 6, so let me do 3. Yes, this time is good, guys. Sorry, work in progress there, but now, okay, I will have a space for everything. Why I have my compass here? Uh, let me do one more part there, okay? This time I will go with three centimeters. still needed to be uh, to dry okay not the fountain but the pump the pump system and the um, flowing system need to dry out some more time sorry a little bit confused there um, and it's not even dark outside so why did he spend so much time on doing all the second level here all the part there I have 12 statues. I can place all of them down there in the first level. So I will also need some statues to be there on the second level. With Jupiter, Zeus, right there, guys. And this is Jupiter, okay? It will be there on some sort of a pedestal. I haven't decided yet, but there will be placed Zeus. And all around him, some other gods, all along this arc here, this internal arc here, have only placed 
and only spaced between them. Uh, I was thinking of going uh, five gods there and the other six all along the stairs and the downstairs. So, and the other six all along the stairs and then back in the main with Poseidon and Ju um, Sorry, Poseidon is there. Poseidon or um, Neptune there on the fountain, in the fountain. But I will also need some other thing, guys. Let me just introduce you this. I found it online. What is this? This is some sort of, uh, and I don't know if it is a pub, but anyway, commercial here. Uh, Katy Sue Designs. It is made for cake design, guys. For cake design. But here is what I want to achieve. Columns. Ancient columns. Greek, two different columns. And because what is an ancient Greek park or Roman park without columns? Nothing. So let's have a bit inside. This is supposed to be used with some sugar in order to get the columns in a cake. So this is pure silicon, yes, but I have two kinds of columns here. One plain uh, continuous column and one divided by different pieces. Then I have t bottom and top of columns there. Okay, this is the bottom, this is the top. I have two bottoms, two tops. Of course, these are half sections. I will need to make a different parts. Uh, I will need to do half column or half column, then the other one that join them together. But this will be for next time. So I will do with plenty of columns, guys. Columns, columns, columns. Not every columns will be these, these good. Uh, I will go with um, <laughs> broke columns with small pieces with columns on the floor. It is supposed to be ancient. But sorry if I made some commercial here. So not sponsored, guys. Not sponsored at all. So this is a quick peek for what will come next time. Plenty of columns to make. Uh, let me just wait for everything to dry and meanwhile I will do some cleaning. <laughs> and finally the recap guys. Yes, I know this is the longest video I have ever produced. I'm sorry. I think it will be the longest. All the things I've made. And I will start the recap with the uh, harbor section, the wharf section here. This is how the water uh, came out with the waves bumping into the boats here and there and it is not fixed obviously but hey uh, i've made some adjustments but now the waves are correctly going where i want them to go for the golden eagle also here uh, all the waves bumping into the uh, to the side of the golden eagle and also the rock here with the uh, water effect on top of it, uh, glossy effect. The sea is uh, some way glossy here and there with white waters. Also here all along the coast, white water, okay. And from this side too, you will see that the other rock in here with the curves and everything else. And the front waves there. Okay, not finished, <laughs> way to be finished, but and this is not perfect, I know guys, but hey, come on, uh, don't judge me, but I think uh, uh, it was worth to go with this uh, uh, way here, with the silicone sealant and the painting and everything else with my little spoon going up and down, with adding my, with my spatula getting the uh, spikies, <laughs> waves, the curves, and etc. as you have just seen me doing. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's get with the rest of this uh, part here, the fountain there. Let me just adjust somehow the camera there, okay? 
let me go this way. So what I did, uh, I let everything dry a little bit, okay? But then let me just remove this part here. I've added some support to the pump there. I added uh, the uh, yes, also some uh, uh, mask, uh, mask tape, uh, paper tape there, and also a uh, metallic support for the pump here in order to not push it towards the uh, towards this part here uh, every time because otherwise it will break sometimes so I had uh, some support here and then some more support there in case this will fail uh, and the pump is there I still need to to paint everything and go over it, over it. I still need to hide the uh, the and the pump inside with this piece here that I will make for next time and the pump is in there uh, Zayden here okay uh, all need to be painted so I have water here let's fill the fountain Okay, I think it's enough. Now, here from the other side, I have my pump controller from last season. <laughs> I'm shaking, guys. So, on the pump, yes, let's switch on and let's proceed slowly until it. I hope it will work, guys. I'm freaking out right now. Still nothing. Let's go up with the voltage. Too much. Okay. Yes, guys. Yes. I don't know if you can see, but the water is coming there. The water there and the water there. All from each side, guys. Water is going to... Yes, Eureka, guys! Eureka! Woo! I was terrified of this moment, guys. But here we go. I don't know if you have enough light right now. But, uh, hey, the water is going through there, through there, and through there. Okay? Yes, I have some spill here uh, some, from time to time, a little drop going down, but this is a fountain and it is functional, guys. I was worried that I hadn't enough inclination to go inside, but, to go, uh, but it will go directly outside the fountain. But here, with minimum, with minimum power to the pump, because I, can re ju I just want to remember you that this is a master pump, uh, it will split everywhere, but with the pump at minimum power, it's working, and it, I have no spill at all uh, around. Still need to hide the cable, of course, under the um, under the stairs there, as us I usually do with the cable going the opposite way and going uh, under under my um, my plywood there, but. Here it is working. Some more water getting here, some less water from each side because the tube is directly in front. Uh, I added a little obstacle inside and when I was um, uh, sculpting inside, uh, so in order to get the water flowing also towards left and right, but the flow is coming directly in front of it because the tube is at uh, precisely 90 degrees here, but precise in line with the um, with this uh, little protrusion there. So much uh, more water here than left and right. But here we go and it will go upstairs and then you will have Jupiter waiting with other gods all around there, columns and everything else. I forgot the nun. Yes, let's place also the nun there. Okay, maybe with some uh, someone staring at uh, 
Poseidon there, I still need to have a little wall here, a, a rounded wall, because I need a wall, then paint there or add some bricks all along the uh, stairs. I, let, I will let it flow right now, okay? Uh, I don't think I have some leaking anywhere, no, I don't think I have no leaking at all, okay? And the fountain is working, my handmade fountain is working, guys. I'm satisfied, it's time to close, to end this part for just some seconds and I will go with my outro. Yippee guys, it worked. I will try to do as quick as possible with this outro, guys, because I have the strange feeling that this video will be way over one and a half hour long. Please don't unsubscribe. Uh, I'm here with my new friends, by the way, my handmade compass. I had a very long week, a very fragmented week, especially because uh, I need to wait so long for everything to cure down. And sometimes I was discomforted, but hey, and the painting and everything else. And by the way, to those who uh, will constantly say that it is impossible to paint over some uh, silicon uh, uh, sealant, an acetic based silicon sealant, it's not true. It is long, but you can do it and it is dry, guys. You have no white, no, no, no colors on your hands and it won't uh, get away, okay? So it is possible and then my fountain. I progressed a little more with my fountain. Yes, it is still working, still on. So it's still uh, uh, going on with the water and the nun is still uh, staring at uh, Poseidon right there. And Jupiter is there in place. So uh, it has been a long trip until now. I still need to do so much things and I still need to have another fragmented week, guys. So, as always, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.